Hey guys, I'm Vivian. Welcome to my channel. I make skincare videos. If you haven't checked out my skincare videos yet on my channel, go check it out and subscribe for more. So today I'm going to talk about something that's been asked many times in the comments. And a lot of you always tend to wonder like, hmm, in what order should I apply my skincare? And so I really want to make a video all about like the different steps and um, what I would recommend you do. Now, these steps are universal ways of applying skincare. Of course, you can apply them in whichever order you want based on your preference and trial and error and things like that. But this is like the guideline if you want. Now, a general rule of thumb to applying skincare is going from the thinnest consistency to the thickest because this will allow the product to be absorbed into your skin most effectively. So in today's video, I'm going to mention like the maximum steps that I take in a skincare routine. You might be like, I don't take all these steps and that's fine, but I'm just going to include as many steps as I can so that it applies to all of you. So let's get started. Step one is cleansing. Before you apply any kind of skincare on your face, you need to make sure that your skin is cleansed. And so whether you just use one cleanser, whether you do double cleansing, it's totally up to you, but you have to make sure that you get um, gunk, sweat, dirt, makeup, whatever it is off. After cleansing comes wash off masks if you use them. Wash off masks are so popular these days. You spread on your skin, let it sit for half an hour or so, and then rinse it off. Now, step three is toner. What a toner does is it preps your skin for the remaining steps in your skincare routine and it also hydrates it. Step four essence. Essences are great. So some people might be like, what is an essence? It's a lighter version of a serum. It's usually pretty liquidy, watery looking, and you can just pat it on your skin and it's supposed to offer like hydration, um, oil control, anti-aging. There are tons of essences out there that target different skin concerns now. And the next step, which is step five, actives, you can um, either go actives first, or essences first, really depends. So step five, actives, and those include vitamin C, retinol, hyaluronic acid, peptides, arbitin. All those products are considered actives. And what they do, mostly anti-aging, they're antioxidants, they hydrate. They're really, really great products for your skin. So again, depending on consistency of those products, you're going to place them according to thinnest to thickest consistency. And then moving on to step six, serums. Seven, ampoules. Now, if you haven't heard of ampoules, basically it's a more concentrated version of a serum. So you can think of it like this, essences, lightest version of a serum. And then you have serum, which is pretty concentrated. And then if you want something that's even more high strength, more concentrated, you have ampoules. And ampules are very common in Asian skincare. So that usually is thicker than a serum. That's why it comes afterwards. After you've applied all the wonderful goody nutrients to your skin, you can move on to step eight, which is an emulsion. An emulsion is a lighter version of a moisturizer. After that, you can move on to step nine, which is a facial oil. Now the next two steps, again, you can uh, interchange them, vice versa whichever one you prefer to use first. So step nine, facial oil. Step 10, a moisturizing cream. You can go moisturizing cream first and then facial oil. But I usually like to use an oil first and then seal it in with a cream. The reason for that, it feels less greasy to the touch. Um, I find that if I put an oil over top my cream, it just kind of sits on top and it doesn't really soak in. So that's why. So that leads us to step 10, a moisturizing cream. After you've sealed everything in with a moisturizer, you can go on to masks if you wish. If you like using the popular sheet masks, if you like to use um, leave-on masks, whatever it is, those come after your full skincare routine. And that's it. Those are the steps to a skincare routine. Leave me questions if you have any down below or just say hi. I read all comments, so come chat. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful and subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out my other videos on my channel. I'll be back very soon with the next video. Bye!